Hi, I'm Lucy and this is Pancake. Thank you for joining us for another video and if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. When I try to explain my job as a theme park content manager to people, I find it difficult. How does one explain that going to theme parks every day is actually work? But it is. It's the most glorious, wonderful, hardest, most amazing job I've ever had. The main components of my day-to-day -day include curating YouTube videos and social content as well as sending photos and information to our amazing writing team to use for our website. Because of this, I spend almost every single day at Walt Disney World or Universal Orlando. And I learn a lot when I'm there. Not just about the best way to handle and navigate the parks or how to handle or tackle genie and which snacks are worth your Mickey dollars. I also figure out really important things like how to prevent chafing in the Florida sun and which lipstick will survive a whole day eating at an Epcot festival. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about something we probably already knew but I saw it on display this year more than ever. 2021 was a very trying year for most of us, and there's no better place to see this in action than in theme parks, which have always brought out the best and the worst in humanity. On a related note, theme parks are scientifically proven to be the number one place in the world to people watch. There were several moments this year that stick out to me when I think back on theme park people watching this year. The 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World for one. I watched grown humans scream at cast members because their mobile order was taking a long time. Which granted it was, but do you really think yelling at a cast member is going to help your case? On what planet is that acceptable? I actually saw a grown man have a meltdown because he had to wait in a long line for a popcorn bucket. I later then saw other adults having tantrums because said popcorn buckets were sold out. It was shocking, appalling, and genuinely disheartening. This is the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World, and everywhere I looked, I saw people behaving in a way that should embarrass them. Bad behavior isn't just rampant on the 50th either. It's not even exclusive to 2021, to be fair. I was a guest relations cast member many years ago and dealt with my fair share of screaming adults. But there's something about 2021 and 2020 that changed human behavior. Another prime example of this is mask. No matter how you feel about mask, that doesn't change the theme park rules. Your personal opinion doesn't change the fact that the cast member reminding you to have one on where required had nothing to do with the rules. But that doesn't stop guests from screaming at cast members or even rolling their eyes. In 2021 alone, you'd be horrified at the names I've heard employees at Disney and Universal called, all by people who don't want to follow the theme park rules. I know it sounds dramatic or like this or that is what I focus on while visiting the most magical place on earth. But like I said, I am drawn to people watching. And as a former cast member, I am particularly sensitive to people treating them badly. Plus, it's just, or at least it really seems this way, more common. It certainly doesn't feel magical to walk through Fantasyland or Diagon Alley and hear someone get yelled at over something they have no control over. And it's not just the mask. 
It's limited edition merchandise selling out and genies and distancing procedures with characters. Walt Disney World can be an incredibly stressful vacation and it seems like now more than ever people are taking out their frustrations on cast members. But like I said at the beginning, people can also be the best. I also saw a lot of truly, really wonderful moments in 2021. I actually watched a grown woman walk into Diagon Alley and burst into tears. Her granddaughter said, Grandma, what's wrong? And she replied, Oh, nothing, dear. It's just like I imagined it. I then saw a little Latina girl in glasses run up and grab a Mirabel doll and shout, Mommy, she looks just like me. I saw girls and women of all ages shout and scream and wave as Princess Tiana Moana and Mulan joined the lineup during Magic Kingdom Calcavades. I saw a family give out little cards and candy canes to cast members during the holidays. I overheard a woman tell her mother she's finally pregnant over dinner at Ohana. I even witnessed a grown man cry because they saw Millennium Falcon for the first time and heard families gasp and cry together when Tinkerbell took flight during the fireworks. These moments, I am reminded that people and these places are also the best. So if you're still watching this, thank you for watching this and listening to my ramblings and people watching observations of a theme park. The last two years have been incomparable. They have pushed people to their breaking point in ways that I don't even know if we as humans even understand yet. But if people watching has taught me anything, it's that people are more stressed than ever before. But they're also embracing joy more than ever before too. I obviously have no actual scientific evidence to back this up, but... What I will say, based on my very professional people watching, is that let's all take a breath moving into 2023. Let's cling to what is good and joyous. Tell the people you love that you love them. If you have family, spend time with them. Laugh as much as possible. And even eat things that make you smile. Dance around Main Street or your living room. Life is tough, especially right now. So do your best to make a little bit of magic every day, whether you're at home or in a theme park. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now and be blessed.